So Moscow just opened COVID vaccination centers across the city as Russia races to reverse the surge in cases there. Now, healthcare professionals, teachers and city workers are the first in line to get the Sputnik V vaccine, which Russian scientists created. Well, Matthew Chant, Chant joins us now uh, live. Matthew, hi. What can you tell us about this? Well, I mean, look, I mean, a couple of days ago, Vladimir Putin, the Russian president, issued an order saying he wanted large scale vaccinations to take place across the country in all cities across that that vast territory of Russia. And, and Moscow, of course, being the capital, was the first to institute that. They started that process today, opening, as you say, 70 vaccination centres. That's going to increase as well in the days and in the weeks ahead uh, in which people can go in. They can register. They can get Sputnik V, the vaccine that Russia developed with its own scientists and registered uh, for public use as early as as August. The Moscow mayor has told us that um, pickup already has been quite enthusiastic. He says essentially 5,000 people, he, he gave that figure, uh, registering themselves to take the vaccine within the first five hours. And obviously that's going to increase uh, as the hours go ahead. They're limiting the number of people who can take it at the moment to, to groups that they categorize as the most at risk. But as the production of Sputnik V steps up, as it is being stepped up, the authorities in, in Russia and in Moscow uh, say that everybody in the Russian capital will be eligible to get that Sputnik V vaccination because like other countries in the world they want to get this vaccination program rolled out this is a test city you know to see how the model works see what they can do in other cities as well they want to get as many people as possible vaccinated to try and bring an early end uh, to the pand pandemic that has been so severely affecting not just other countries in the world but you know specifically Russia as well our Moscow bureau chief there Matthew Chance thanks so much